On Sunday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that he intends on setting into motion a new law that would include mandatory civilian national service for Israeli Arabs. The statement came after Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman threatened that a vote on the replacement to the Ta law, which allows full-time yeshiva students to defer national service, would decide the date of Israel's elections. Lieberman advocated for a mandatory service law that would require the enlistment of the ultra-Orthodox, Israeli Arabs, and all other Israeli citizens. Netanyahu met with representatives of the anti-Tal law protest movement called the Suckers Camp and echoed the foreign minister's statements that there must be a new law that would require Israeli Arabs to perform national service. According to a statement by the prime minister's office, Netanyahu told the protesters that he intends on changing the distribution of the burden of the service in Israel. Fatah representatives over the weekend urged PA President Mahmoud Abbas to replace Prime Minister Salam Fayed with a Fatah official. In the past few weeks, supporters of Fatah scored major victories in elections for student councils at four universities in the West Bank. Fatah supporters also won a majority of seats at three West Bank colleges. The victories are seen by Fatah as a vote of confidence in Abbas and the faction's policies and strategy. The British cooperative group has become the first major European supermarket group to end trade with firms that export produce from Israeli settlements in the West Bank. The co-op took the measure as an extension of its existing policy, which had been not to import produce from Jewish settlements. The decision will affect four companies and contracts worth some £350,000. However, the co-op stressed this is not an Israeli boycott and that its contracts will go to other companies inside Israel that can guarantee they don't export from illegal settlements. Arik Zaevi, Israel's top judo wrestler for more than a decade now, won the gold medal at the European Judo Championship in Russia for the fourth time Saturday after defeating Levan Georgiliani from Georgia in the under 100 kilograms category at the championship. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke with Zaevi and congratulated him on his achievement. Zaevi thanked the Prime Minister and said that he was touched to stand on the podium and hear Israel's national anthem, Hatikva. The final of the Miss Russian Tourism pageant was held in Eilat this week as part of Israel's efforts to attract more Russian tourists. Out of more than 300 women who competed in the first of its kind beauty pageant, which was sponsored by the Tourism Ministry, 25 made it to the final round. The contestants, aged 18 to 30, all work in the tourism industry. The winner, Svetlana Dubovenko, was awarded a diamond ring and a week-long stay at an Israel hotel. <laughs>